Purple Tigress got that clout? Oh man. Dude, this looks so cool. Yo! What? 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 What is this? Croco Duel! Ah oh, yeah, Kitty Selection! The best band you've never heard of. I love it when she sings. <laughs> She's like a completely different person. Uh, Marinette stepping out. <sighs> oh no. That's a really unfortunate thing to put out there, Luca. She stopped showing up because she knows I'm in love with her. It's like, dude, no. Being too hard on yourself. <laughs> you can see the whole range of thoughts going through Rose's head. It's like, don't destroy his hopes and dreams. Don't destroy his hopes and dreams. <laughs> She's even doing the... Listen, she just... Palm Pony. Oh, wow. Rose, you are a terrible liar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she did a pouty face. Uh, good try, Rose. <laughs> you gotta love that look that all you and Nino are giving her. Like, Rose, no. That Sweetie, no. You, you, no. <laughs> ah, she's embarrassed. Honestly, like, you could tell him that. It, it's on brand for Marinette. You gotta love how most of Marinette's friends are only really deeply involved when it comes to romance. I actually do like this, because, like, really, how many times do we just see Marinette's friends being friends without her being around? It's very rare, oddly enough. It's almost as though Marinette was the main character of the series or something. Weird, right? Rockin' Monster Party Parade. That sounds awesome. Wait, 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 wait. That that feels like such an extreme aside. It's just like, oh yeah, Julica's birthday is going on, but Marinette and Luca! Like, guys, Julica's birthday. Wait, what? W wait, what? Julica and Luca are twins? Wait, no, what? No, hold on. W was that always the thing? I thought they were... I, I thought... Oh, wait, no. I did read that somewhere. Oh, yeah. Julica was held back. That's right. Oh, my God. Because they, they're basically fraternal twins. They look nothing alike. Nothing alike. And, and I'm not saying that from the perspective of all twins look the same. No. E even very close-looking twins, they tend to look a bit different. But, no. God, that is never brought up. Um, uh, Nino's such a bro. He doesn't want to leave Adrian out of this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, Adrian not showing up is probably for the best. Oh, wow. Alex actually had a speaking role. I'm sorry, Alex has said nothing in the past few episodes that I've watched. I think she said all of the three things, maybe? Uh-oh. Something's going on with Julica. <laughs> it's like, I don't want... Teen drama on my birthday. Oh no. Also, this shot is so well composed with everybody in the foreground, and then you just see Julica in the background looking sad. Like, oh no. <laughs> uh, no! On the lips! On the lips! <laughs> Although I do always appreciate the romance between Rose and Julica. I don't know why, but, like, the lighting in this scene, especially on Marinette, just looks really good. <laughs> oh, Marinette knows something's up. She's too good like that. <laughs> She's too good. <laughs> she put together, she put that together so fast. Oh, man, I don't know if that speaks to how paranoid Marinette usually is, but that was impressive. Although Marinette is just smart in general, so. <laughs> I love it. It's just like, Ollie's just like, shit. <laughs> like, oh, you, dude, okay, whatever. I wasn't expecting you to put that together so fast. You are very impressive. <sighs> I love Alya knowing Marinette's secret so that we can just have more Alya being the voice of reason in so many situations. Because, don't get me wrong, I love Marinette, but Alya is just too on the ball half the time. Like, they designated her smart character and just left it at that. <laughs> Talking about our tragic love triangle. Luke is in love with me, but I'm in love with Adrian, and Adrian is in love with Ladybug, but Ladybug is in love with Adrian, and Cat Noir is in love with Ladybug. God, when you say it out loud, it sounds so weird. <laughs>
because see, see, that's why I love Alia. Even she understands the situation so well. Oh, she's so well written. Like she's just like, yeah, dude, drama. Just t dial it back. Just take that drama switch. Oh. I mean, when you count it next to the amount of times, I mean, yeah, he's been akumatized twice because of Marinette, but then you think about how many people have been akumatized because of Chloe, and it's just like, mm. Again, Alia being the voice of reason, like, yeah, well, I mean, if he gets akumatized again, you'll just give him the lucky charm and bada-bing, bada-boom, he's done. It'll probably work out for the best, all things considered. Actually, that brings up an excellent question. Could she only give someone the lucky charm or the magic charm? Not the lucky charm, the magic charm. After they've been akumatized, can't she just be like, here's a magic charm so you don't get akumatized again, just in case. Oh, he's just like, look, we've been lingering on this plot for four seasons. Well, three seasons. We're in the fourth season, girl. You need to get over this. What the? What What the what was that? Is that Marinette? <laughs> Hello, Julka's reaction. Talking garbage again? Is that you? But I only see you in my hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> Talking garbage can? Awesome. <laughs> can you arrange for your brother not to be at his birthday party for me? Pretty please? Like, Marinette, no. Y y you're being too much. Yeah, I don't like Marinette doing this. I it's a little too much. Honestly, the facial animations in this episode are really good. Julika's just so over all of this. Oh god. <laughs> oh, poor Luca. It's interesting. Even around her own brother, Julika is still like that. Oh, poor Julika. She's trying so hard. It's so weird to see an episode where Julika is just, like, trying her best to help as many people, but she's, like, caught up in it. You know, for some reason, and I guess it goes back to the fact that I never actually considered them twins, so I always was under the impression that Luca was the older brother, Julica was the younger brother, and Jagged Stone was mainly Luca's dad. But, I mean, they have the same colored hair when I actually think about it. Like, if you had initially introduced Jagged Stone as Julica's daughter, it would have been like, oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they even dye their hair the same. Ooh, do we actually get to see Julica and Jagged Stone actually interact? You know what? I was under such a deep train of thought, I didn't realize. Jagged Stone is hanging off the edge of their boat. The fuck? Th this man... Hanging off the edge of their boat with a double neck guitar. That is rock and roll. Oh, no, Julica! <laughs> Luca has such a bond with their dad, and Julica doesn't. That's so sad. It's so sad. Oh, no. oh Jesus. This is breaking my heart. Oh, oh. I felt it in my heart a little bit. Uh oh. Boarded her ship without permission. Oh, snap. You know, I never even noticed it, but Jagged Stone's uh, finger covers are similar to the mesh that Julica has on her shoulders. Wait, was it always planned that they'd be related? <laughs> your tour bus is parked right up front. People from space can tell you're here. Ugh. <sighs> Man, I, I'm i feeling some kind of way about this family dynamic. It's just like, yeah, we we were, we were so caught up in Luca and Jagged's relationship. Never really considered Julica and all of that. And we've been with Julica longer. I feel bad for never considering that. Yes, they're fictional characters, but this is still, I love them, though. Oh, Julica. Oh, Julica, she said yes. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm going to get emotional this episode. I'm going to get so emotional this episode. I may cry. <laughs> God. They do not take after their father whatsoever. Shoot, even their mother is highly eccentric. And yet, Luca and Julica... The most subdued characters in this entire series. Poor Julica. Most stressful day of her life. <laughs> oh my god, this poor child. This poor child. <laughs> Are you sure Julica isn't the one who gets acomatized in this episode? Because, <laughs> my god. <sighs> She's trying so hard. She's trying so hard. Oof. 
You know what? Marinette is the one you should let down in this situation, Julika. It, it wasn't right of her to ask you to do what she, she wanted you to do. That, that's the one thing I'll say. Marinette being disappointed in this situation is trolley for the best. You know, Marinette is getting on my nerves. This episode. Marinette is getting on my nerves this episode. It was like, no, Marinette, Marinette, get on the phone. Like, Marinette should not have put Julika on the spot like this. The rest of their friends shouldn't have put her on the spot like this either, but Marinette, doubly so. Yep, there it is. Oh, no, no, no. Yep, yep, uh, yep, Julika's backed into a corner. Poor baby. Poor baby! Uh, see, that's why I feel like Marinette's in the wrong in this situation. She's the one not trying to make amends with Luca in this situation. Like, don't put it on Julica. Don't try to get this boy out of his own birthday. Like, no, that's not cool. And he ends up getting the Koopa Like, bear that. You're doing what you're doing and Luca was only gonna make sure he got akumatized. You know, I never say it enough, but man, Hawk Moth slash Shadow Moth's voice is just really good. It's just... Just that nice amount of depth and baritone to it. So just an Akuma no Amok. Man, there is a lot to digest in this episode. Yeah, I love it. All of his friends having his back like this. Like, seriously, scene compositions in this episode are fantastic. Like, just this simple scene of everyone gathered around Luca is just so well shot. Like, they got the perfect angle to a show as many friends as possible. Also love that all of their friends are just so... Like, it's the cheesiest thing. But the fact that Marinette's friends have just emphasized on so many occasions just to reinforce some positivity towards their friends. Say, hey, look, you know you're down in the dumps, but... You know, we we understand the situation. We understand how it got out of hand. Don't feel any kind of way. It's nothing personal against you. You are loved. You are cared for. You are seen. And they give him a hug. And it, like, instantly gets the Akuma away. Like, just some positivity injected into his day. And bam, the Akuma is repelled. Love it. I, I love that shit. Like, yes, there you go. Just positivity you know it's the funniest thing if there's one good thing that's come from hawk moth slash shadow moth being around is that people tend to take a little bit more notice to the emotions of their friends like they see that their friend is down in the dumps and they genuinely just want to go over and help you know they become a little bit more attuned to knowing when someone is feeling some kind of way i love it oh i love it when hawk moth or shadow moth i should say it's just like, where'd the negative emotions go? Oh no, did we, did we family friendly this up? I need some negativity to Twitter. Like seriously, <laughs> that's the funny thing about how Shadow Moth operates is like in the real world, he'd be akumatizing people left and right. Ladybug would be overrun by villains. <laughs> He's just like, just, just stay there, Akuma. They're teenagers. Something's bound to get them up in a tizzy at some point. Like, I, I need Marinette to recognize that she was in the wrong for this. Oh, he's going after Julika. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, that's why I love you, Marinette. You recognized you were wrong. Well done. Well done. I <laughs> love this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Ball's over here is just like, ah, cat blocked again. He's just like, what is all of this positivity crap? <laughs> There's Jagged Stone. Wait, haven't half of these kids already interacted with Jagged Stone previously? <laughs> I could have sworn, like, most of them should be used to Jagged Stone by now. Oh shit, wait, did nobody know? I could have, I guess not. Oh. Wow, I I guess I just assumed everyone would know after a certain point. Oh, <sighs> jeez, like, just so much happens in some of these episodes, I forget who knows what in certain situations. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? You can akumatize people over that? Yeah, it's just like, yo, wait, your dad's freaking rock star? That's amazing! Like, dude, I would be like, yo! <laughs> it's like, yeah, there, there there was no way there was going to be negativity over this. <laughs> this 
is hilarious. Everywhere he turns, Shadow Moth just like, no! I'm getting the akumatization blue balls over here! Uh, yeah, oh shit. I, I guess not even Marinette knew. Wow. <laughs> Why would you think he doesn't love you and likes your brother better? You mean aside from the fact that he's mostly been spending time with and hanging out with Luca this entire time that that revelation has been known? Gee, I wonder. Oh, it, it, it's it's so obvious that's a present for Julica. That, like, he wants to start bonding with her a little bit. Although, aside from her time on, like, Kitty Selection... You never really see Julica, like, having a deep, passionate interest in music like Luca. It's weird. Oh, they're like, oh, there's the negativity. It's like, negativity, give me, give me, give me, give me, give <laughs> And I love it, it's just like, no, no, Julica, I, I know this trope. It's probably a misunderstanding. Let's get this sorted out. It's just like, everybody's being so weirdly rational in this episode. I love it. I, I love it. it. It's fantastic. It's fabulous. <laughs> like, people in an animated series being rational is like my bread and butter. <laughs> yes! Talk to your dad. That's how problems get solved. This is probably a misunderstanding. There you go. It's just like, boom. Done. <laughs> oh, shoot. And Baronet's just like, no! I'm calling out this moment right now! It's like, yeah, thanks a lot, Marinette. This was actually supposed to be a gift for Julica. You know, that's why I was keeping it secret. But, you know what, whatever. Wow, his very first base. Nice! Now that is a sweet gift. Oh, oh god. Oh, warmth in my heart! Oh no! Very first bonding moment. No, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hogmoth, Hogmoth's face is just like, are you kidding me? Oh, back when he and his mother were croco duo. Oh man, that's so cool. Why would you hand him the actual friggin' vinyl like that? Those things are. Delicate, man! You're a musician, you should know that! Don't take the vinyl out of the friggin' thing unless you're gonna play it! Actually, I don't remember the details of why they broke up, and I have to assume that she was straight up pregnant at the time, and didn't realize until long after they had split. Well, there's the negativity. Akuma time! I love it, he's just like, mine, 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 mine! See, I'm glad the Akuma got to it before it broke, because once Marinette does her thing, it'll be restored, so it's all gravy. Wow, they get to go under their name of Croco Duo. That's amazing. I guess Jagged has always had a love of crocodiles. So I I'm guessing his dream was always to own one at some point. Because he had that fantasy of being a crocodile. Jagged Stone has an obsession with crocodiles. I, I really don't remember what their argument was about. And I'm not willing to go back and look it up. So they're just gonna, like, compete over causing problems. Everybody off the boat! Akumatization positions! Nice. Ugh. Jagged Stone looks so good akumatized. And so does Anika. Like, they both look rock and roll akumatized. So, I, I have to wonder, was their issue over something to do with their band? And... Uh, Jagged wasn't too happy with the direction that Anika was taking things in. Ananka, whatever her name is. She wasn't too happy with the direction, so he just bolted. And he probably didn't even know she was pregnant at the time. Like, jeez. Nice. Yeah, and uh, I feel so bad for Julika, because it's just like, she just wants her parents to, like, they don't they're not even get back together, but just let them have a relationship with their father. Like, I get it, you know. She's bitter because the, it's just like, he up and disappears for, like, 15 years of their life pops into their life and relationship and it's just like oh now you want to have a relationship with your children but you probably never even told him he had kids or anything <laughs> all you is such a good friend coolest battle ever sky pirate versus dragon oh yeah and i i guess cat noir might not be involved with this oh no there he is yeah with this, it's going all across Paris, so I guess he would end up noticing. <laughs> I love it. Oof, man, that was a hell of a hit. Ah, I really dig her pirate design. It's so good. And she's so pretty. And again, his 
like, I don't know, Dragon Rider rocker look? So good. Mwah. Pikakuma look. Yeah, Cat Noir. You know, it's funny. Sometimes Ladybug, like, throws her yo-yo to grapple onto something, and there's nothing for her to actually grapple onto. It's just like, what, what, where did the yo-yo go? Did, did it just go up into the clouds? Can, 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 can her yo-yo, like, grab the clouds? That'd be cool. Like, like in One Piece, where Doflamingo, like, uses his string to grab clouds, and that's how he's able to just fly through the sky? Ugh, so cool. Ooh, he got the stick. <laughs> so, so they ended up just being like, yeah, you heroes, we'll deal with you later. We got something to settle. Man, would it be messed up if they just started bumping uglies while they were akumatized? I'm just saying. I could totally find something on the internet for that. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> we've gone into the sky so the animators don't have to constantly put the city below us. Oh, uh, this is kind of cool. Y you really don't see this too often where two akumatized villains are just going at it with each other. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Shadow Moth's day. <laughs> like, nothing is working out the way he wants it to. It's just like, first he has having a hard time getting someone akumatized, and when he does, it ends up being two people who just hate each other. And it's just like, yeah, using their hate was probably a good idea, but at the same time, they, they were gonna fight each other, no matter what. <laughs> It's just raining cannonballs indiscriminately across Paris. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, she's one to talk. It's just like, they were in love once. Oh, those feelings might be long gone. Yeah, but that's not a reason to stop talking to each other. It's just like, yeah, Marinette, it's not a reason to stop talking to each other. Communication is key. Duct tape. Oh, it's time. Oh, man. Miraculous of the Tiger. Ugh. I was already kind of spoiled on this, but I'm just so ready. I am so ready for this. I mean, it's just like, everybody else has gained a Miraculous, so it was bound to come around to Julika at some point. <laughs> It kind of sucks that it had to be the situation that involves both of her parents. A bangle. Cool. Ooh. No. <laughs> I love it. Uh, a loud-spoken Kwame with the meek and timid Julika. Ah, uh, that's so good. I love Julika actually just wanting to help out in this situation. It's so fabulous. <laughs> it's like, what? I can't hear you! Nice. Wow! I am all for this. Roar. Stripes on! Ah, Let's do it! Yes. Julika always has had the best style out of any character. Oh, this costume's so good! Oh my god, this costume's so good! Oof! It's fabulous! It is fabulous! Oh, the outfit's so good! The outfit is so good! Good. No, you don't understand. The outfit is so good. I love it. I love it. Oh, no. You, you can stop the episode here. I'm done. <laughs> no, nothing gets better than this. This outfit is so stylish. I love the colors. I love the look. I love that the bangles just become claws. Just, uh, Yes. And Julika going from mumbling to just Speaking her words like, yeah, Julika finds your confidence. Let your inner tigress roar. Okay, wait, no. I, I just need to hear a name. A good hero name will solidify this as my favorite Miraculous holder. There's a reason why Cat Noir is like one of my favorites. I, I just always love the cat themes, but come on. Come on. Give me a good hero name. Purple Tigress. I'll accept it. <laughs> I love this. Makes us practically family, exactly. Nice! Powerful extend! Like, you gotta enjoy the fact that they had the utmost confidence on Cat Noir getting them to where they needed to be. Cause if he missed, it's just like, I hope he can survive the landing. <laughs> I love it. She was about to call him dad. That's fantastic. Okay. So it's like a, a ball chain weapon. Nice. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Julika's got the move. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just so good to see her fighting. I don't know why, but it fills me with so much joy. It fills me with so much joy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, it was already broken, so. <laughs> but I love their faces like, hmm. 
that usually works. I love that the, what is it, bow? Figurehead? Figurehead of Captain Harborock's ship is a guitar. Uh, y'all gonna be okay? Ah, nice! So, wait, do you have to repair it to unleash the Akuma? That is the weirdest condition for getting an Akuma out. Oh man, that's so cool. Do what you can, newbie. Oh, her ability! What is her- Wait, what? Clout? Purple Tigress got that clout? Oh man. Dude, this looks so cool. Yo! What? 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 What is this? Yo! Yo! Is her ability a friggin' falcon punch? Falcon punch! Parted the clouds in the sky! Yes! <laughs> Cat Noir's face says it all. His face says it all. Jaw dropped. Goddess descends. End of story. Purple Tigress's best, Carol. End of discussion. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, Julica getting a miraculous is the best thing ever. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> four seasons, four seasons, it was all worth it, it was all worth it to get to this point, thank you, thank you, oh god, oh okay, <laughs> he had to repair it to destroy it again, dang, that is such a weird condition for this, oh, are, are they gonna get de 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 akumatized in the stratosphere, <laughs> cause I'm pretty sure that punch knocked him into orbit, oh my god, I love this episode, oh, so <laughs> Where did they land? Oh, yeah, they, they were high up there. Oh, thank heavens for... <laughs> that was about to be a bad situation. <laughs> Yo! Oh. Uh, that was good. And two for each of them. Yep, nice. Narka, jagged. Yeah, that was a... Nice right hook is right. Like, yo! Ugh. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like low key kind of shipping them right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just kind of shipping them right now. It, it's just, I don't know why. <laughs> like, two of the coolest design characters right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really like their designs. Oh. Ugh, like, they, they, I'm kind of wanting, like, a solo spin-off series where Cat Noir and Purple Tigress just go out fighting crime. Like, I don't even know why I want this. Ugh, this episode was a roller coaster. A rockin' roller coaster. Ugh, I, I wanted to keep it. I want more Purple Tigress. Nice. Ugh, still fighting. It, it sucks, too, because Anaka's always the one to start it. Dang. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Speak softly, but carry a big stick. <laughs> it didn't mean you had to hug, jeez. <laughs> I think that's a little too much development. <laughs> that, 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 was, that makeup was a little too fast. Julika does rock, though. <laughs> they're, they're arguing about who was in the wrong. Yeah, it's probably for the best that they're not a couple anymore. Oh, man. Uh, talking things over with Julika. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. It didn't get me to cry, though. It came pretty close, though. Uh, and this a little heart-to-heart. -heart. Yeah, after seeing how uh, not talking can cause emotions to kind of fester over the years, best you to uh, sort things out now. Julika is too good for all of us. I said Julika. Luca. Luca is too good for all of us. You know, it, it hurts more to be avoided than to, you know, have you just have you around and not have my feelings reciprocated. Best of buddies. Mm. They would have made a damn good couple, though. Ugh, pretty good stuff. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. This... Ah, uh, season four has some really, really good episodes. Really good episodes. Just, mm. And wouldn't you know it, I got one of the few episodes that doesn't have the Shadow Moth is planning something in the background after, after ending card stingers. But what is there to say about this episode? It, it had some of my most 
like favorite characters of this entire series in it. Yeah, I love me some Cat Noir. I like Julika. I've always loved her design. Luca is just best boy always and forever. And all the situations where the characters would just rationally talk about their feelings and what they're going through and dissuade any negative emotions. It's just like, oh, brilliant. Love it. Yes, spot on. Aces every time. And Julika. Ah, uh, speaking clearly for the first time, letting her voice be heard, and, oh, that purple tigress outfit is the best. It's the absolute best. I'm sorry, I just, mwah, it is beautiful. Like, I, I love the other costumes that we've seen for a lot of the other characters, but purple tigress just, yes! You know, I, I guess that comes from years of growing up with female-themed cat heroes, like, White Tiger, Catwoman, Black Cat, Tigress, Hellcat, Cheshire, who's, despite that, she's not really cat-themed. Tigress, yeah, there's, there's a lot of them. There, there's a lot of them. Like, but there's a reason why it's such a beloved classic, and just the colors they gave to Julika, like, Purple Tigress, her hair, the, the way her mask is designed, I love that her bangle just becomes these claws, the design of the stripes all across her outfit, just, and, and the fact that it's not just black stripes, it's black with gold kind of outlines, accents on it, and just like black, gold, white, purple, just yes! Like, such a strong design, too. And having this be the situation that causes Julika to just really speak up and speak her mind, because just, like, she doesn't want her parents constantly fighting all the time, and she wanted a good relationship with her dad, and just her relationship with her brother is such a sweet one, and just, yes. Oof. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 episode. Fabulous. A tour de force from beginning to end. Loved every minute of it. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Purple Tigress? Man. Yeah, I promise never to do that again. I'm sorry. But this is one of my favorite. Between this and, uh, shoot, the last one. Yeah, Scenty Bubbler. Yeah, there we go. Between this and Scenty Bubbler, it's just been like, yes. And, and yeah, all you being the best. Again, just all you being the best. It, it was good. It was great. It was fantastic. I loved every minute of it. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Purple Tigress, her outfit, her abilities, her uniform? Friggin' pa Falcon Punch is her ability. I love it. Falcon Punch. Just, yeah. Dude, that is fantastic. I loved it. Um, But Marinette mending her relationship with Luca, um, Julica's relationship with her father, Ananka and Jagged Stone's relationship being mended, just not to mention Rockstar villain, Rocker villain, whatever, and Captain Hard Rock being the two villains of this, like, just the aerial battle, just, there was just so much good stuff in this episode. It didn't quite blow me away so much as Senti Bubbler did, because that, that was just smartly written in the way that it was presented, and I loved it. But this, the, this is a close second for my all-time favorite episodes. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, bell, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, I've been Deuce This Then, and I will see you in the next video. Buh bye And rock on!